What's up, everybody? Jensen Cummings here. Thank you for tuning in. Taylor Smith, the owner and founder of the Gold Leaf Collective in Fort Collins, Colorado, on the show. Taylor, thank you for being on. Hey, thanks for having me. I dropped out of high school, man, when I was 15, and the only people that would hire me were kitchens. And it was just this fast paced, um, really intense lifestyle that I loved. And then I got to transition to the front of house and, and feel so good serving people and feeding people. I mean, there's really no better feeling for me. And it, it was out of necessity to survive. And it became the thing that I do best. And it, it's, it's my passion that I'll never let go. You drive in, and you see those mountains and it's like, holy shit, I've arrived. It's I'm home, you know, and I never went back. I came here. I decided I was going to I put together a business plan. I raised some money and I opened my food truck, the Silver Seed in 2014. And I always felt like cooking. It, it's a way for me to express what I care about. And as soon as this vegan thing happened to me, I knew that it was what I wanted to do. Well, the goal always was to have a brick and mortar, but I think when I started into my business plan, I realized very quickly that I was going to need a million dollars and I had 10,000. And I mean, there's just, there's no connecting those dots, especially when you're new in a town. Granted, I got to say Fort Collins, I'm sure you felt this. The community here is so strong and so locally focused and supportive that I wouldn't have been able to, to even open a food truck in any other town the way that it happened. I, we were we started a Kickstarter and we had fifteen thousand dollars in that thing. I knew nobody here. I don't know how that happened. This ain't Chicago or New York or L.A. And I don't think that Northern Colorado was ready for it. And I think that it it was it was twenty years ahead of its time, and it almost buried us. Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you this. I crave meat every day. It never stopped because I, I loved my burgers. I love my Philly cheesesteaks. I love my pizza. I just love shit food because it made me feel better about my day. Right. right. And, <laughs> and I miss it. And so my motivation was to make things that made me feel normal again regardless of whether or not it had these ingredients or those ingredients. Everybody, <laughs> when, you, when you cook meat or you're cooking whatever, you're seasoning it with vegan ingredients. Salt and pepper, oregano, basil, all that stuff, that shit's vegan, man. Oh, and that's what we're using. I like it. Preach. <laughs> what we're, you're using that shit to season your, I mean, so, you know, we can achieve the same flavors and we can achieve the same kind of greasy messiness. That's what I'm looking for, man. I think the, the problem is that a lot of people very closely associate vegan with healthy. And I'm not about that lifestyle, man. I'm about vegan because I care about my planet. It's not about me. It's about everything else. I've had people come to the restaurant and say exactly what you just said to me. They, I had a few people even pull me aside and say, hey, we were planning on going to McDonald's after this because we thought we were going to come here and have a tiny little rabbit food bowl. Yeah. And I was going to be hungry after that. But you just rocked my world and filled me up and, and, and we'll be back. You know how hard it is to get people to walk into a vegan restaurant willingly. The only thing that's going to keep them there is that they see things that they remember or they're familiar with. And so it was really important for us that our servers were e extremely accepting of everybody. You eat meat, every single person that comes to the restaurant eats meat. We're not there to judge and we're certainly not there to scare people away. We're the first step into a new world for them that may even end up helping their health or at least helps them feel like they're doing something for the planet. Because I don't know about you, man, but as the world crumbles around me, I feel like the only thing I have control over is what I eat. And if I can vote with my dollar, every day by eating something that helps the planet and helps me feel better. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. How, how could you not do that? 